right now at five. A declaration of unity. We are probably now, despite what we read, we're probably now, I think, at least as far as I'm concerned, closer than ever before. And answers to some of the most asked questions of his administration. The whole Russian thing was an excuse for the Democrats losing the election. I do believe Cuba is responsible. Uh, all I can say is it's totally fake news. It's just fake. Tonight, President Trump on the record. And you saw a little bit of it here, a very talkative commander-in-chief today answering reporters' questions, first in a cabinet meeting and then in the Rose Garden. And you name it, the president weighed in on it today from his rocky relationship with Republicans in D.C. to health care, taxes, even Cuba. The president hosting his cabinet today at the White House. But I think we have an extraordinary group of people around this table. This is... Uh, tremendous amount of talent. Clearly looking to give the impression that he and his team have everything under control. Obamacare is finished. It's dead. It's gone. It's no longer, don't, you shouldn't even mention, it's gone. With his executive orders chipping away at President Obama's signature legislative achievement, the president now officially taking ownership of the nation's health care system. There is no such thing as Obamacare anymore. Call it Trump care from now on. Mitch, the donors, the donors are not happy. They've all left you. We've cut your oxygen off, Mitch. Former Trump advisor Steve Bannon declaring war on Senate GOP leader Mitch McConnell and the entire Republican establishment. This is not my war. This is our war. The president saying he gets it. And I can understand where Steve Bannon's coming from. I can understand where a lot of people are coming from because I'm not happy about it and a lot of people aren't happy about it. So what does the president do? He invites McConnell to the White House. My relationship with this gentleman is outstanding. The president blames McConnell for the Republicans' inability to repeal and replace Obamacare, but now he needs their help with other agenda items like tax reform. The majority leader promising the president he will get that help. The president also taking questions about the Russia investigation. The whole Russian thing was an excuse for the Democrats losing the election. The NFL anthem controversy. And the NFL should have suspended some of these players for one game. Not fire them, suspended them for one game. And then if they did it again, it could have been two games and three games and then for the season. And even the sonic attacks on U.S. staffers at our embassy in Cuba. I do believe Cuba is responsible. And the president also asked today about accusations from a former apprentice contestant who is suing him over sexual harassment claims, one of the many women who have accused the president of sexual harassment. Mr. Trump, who could be forced to testify in that libel case, calling it, quote, fake news.